I drink coffee every single day, but never did I know there's such thing as a $50 cup of coffee. Is it a coincidence or not, but today, the day that I want to film this $50 cup of coffee, I get a coffee from somewhere else, and I burnt my lip. Today, it's actually 65 degrees in New York City, and it's February. Like, I'm in a t-shirt outside, it feels amazing, and I'm so excited to make a video. Since when it's snowing and cold or rainy, it makes it difficult to get motivated, but when it's this nice, I just can't help myself but to create and make a video, just like my, my shirt says. Bob. What's up? Remember a couple months ago when we were living in Chinatown, you were telling me about that coffee place that has a $50 cup of coffee. Yeah. Today, I'm gonna go try it. No, you're not. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go get not. 50 bucks right now and literally go spend 50 bucks on a cup of coffee. So this better be no good or way. else it's all your fault. Oh my gosh. This is riding on our friendship right Man, now. Man, you gotta save me some, bro. <laughs> <laughs> gonna get the skateboard and cruise on down to Chinatown and... Get this $50 cup of coffee. Get this fifty dollar cup of coffee. I need to get fifty dollars. Right, That's it. All right, enjoy your coffee. Let me know how it is. I will. I Thank you so much. Okay, so I got the fifty dollars, and now it's time to get this fifty dollar cup of coffee. I can't believe I'm actually spending fifty bucks on coffee. Five dollars is bad enough. Now fifty. I have to try this though. Fifty bucks on coffee. Let's do this. What's up, man? Hey. I'm here to buy the $50 cup of coffee. Is it worth 50 bucks from your honest opinion? Just coffee itself, it doesn't look like really, wow, it's, it's special. It doesn't, it's, look, it's just a coffee. Right. But the thing is, the process. Yeah, Have you tried like, the $50 cup? Mm -hmm. How is it? It's good. Be rhetorical. What's $50 worth to you? This That's coffee it. was shot in the space. You want to taste it? So it's, it, right here. it's from outer space. It was shot in the space from Earth by the guy that owns this coffee shop. Last year, I went to a coffee farm in Colombia, 10,000 feet above sea level, but this coffee shop, it shoots its coffee beans into outer space. It gets up into the, in the atmosphere because there's less pressure. The oils and the acids and the moisture leave the coffee bean, and then it freezes, and then the weather balloon pops because of the pressure, lack of pressure, and then it falls back down to Earth, Okeon and Han, Brought it back, roasted it. I gotta try it. <laughs> Astronaut coffee. $50. Mm -hmm. How many people buy that a day? Not a day, like a week, <laughs> maybe one, two. <laughs> Alright, I'm glad I could be the person this week. Yeah. So this is the $50 cup of coffee that was shot, shot into outer space and then came back down to earth yeah. and then made into coffee. Let's try this out. Wow. That is definitely not from this planet. It tastes almost like a little bit of a wine flavor. Did, did you feel that too? Not just a, like bitter. Coffee. Yeah, like, it uh, goes down so smooth too. Yeah. 50 bucks, kind of a lot for a cup of coffee, but it, it's something to try once in your life. Yeah. So I'm here at the coffee shop and another YouTuber here, your, your name's Gabriella? Hey. Yeah, that's Gabri right. And she's from Brazil, also makes YouTube videos. And are you here to drink the $50 cup of coffee or what are you getting? No, I don't know. Uh, actually, they invited us, but not specify what we will try. Okay. But I... That's what oh, I got. I Fifty dollar cup of coffee. Well, let me do you it should try it. It's a Fifty dollar coffee. Sorry. That's gonna cost you like mm. five bucks. <laughs> you have to explain to her why it's fifty dollars. Because they shoot it up into outer space. Oh my god. It's called astronaut coffee. I'm feeling a little bit 
richer right now. Social <laughs> club. <laughs> Yeah. I'm filming you, you try it. You have to give the, your honest opinion. So we just met literally right now and I'm letting her try the $50 coffee. Out of the same cup. Mmm, looks think? good. It tastes I a little like bit like it. wine, right? Like wine? That's what you I think thought. So? I thought it was like a mix between wine and coffee. Mm. What do you think? It's got like a bitter, but it's like a nice, bitter, smooth taste. It's very smooth. Yeah, it's really good. I liked it. That was awesome. I mean, the $50 for the coffee may not have been worth it, but it was totally worth it because I met so many people in there. Met another YouTuber, met some cute girls, met another pro it, was, it was just awesome. I'm glad I did that. It was a great experience. The coffee did taste really good. It tasted like out of this world. So. Very happy I tried that. I think you guys should totally try it. If you were on Allen Street and Delancey, go to Round Up Coffee and try the $50 cup of coffee. It's worth trying. I was having so much fun at the $50 cup of coffee place that I realized I'm running super late to a meeting at the <laughs> Jerry office. So, you guys, if you're on Instagram, you probably have heard of <laughs> Jerry, but my friend Bogdan works for <laughs> Jerry. Can you explain what they do? Because I feel like people don't know that there's probably this massive office with a bunch of employees all that start from an Instagram account, which I think is so fascinating. Yeah, Elliot started <laughs> Jerry, I think, like 2013, and it started just doing memes on Instagram. And he saw how big that got and it got up to, I think, 12 million followers right now. So he realized how much power it has in memes, so he started creating kind of different verticals for it and doing like Jerry News and Base Cardigan he runs and Pizza and all these different accounts. And now he has over 55 million followers across all of them. And so we have a whole creative team here kind of coming up with original meme concepts. So uh, insane. We have our own board game. It's the number one selling board game in Amazon. Wow. What do you meme? It's like Cards Against the Humanities with memes. Uh, I do a lot of media buying, do a lot of fun stuff. So crazy, all from an fun Instagram account. Do. Now it's like account. this media creation company's powerhouse. Media in the takeover. Yeah, we're literally in the middle of Soho and there's this massive office that all started from an Instagram account. Also, I wanted to announce this on the vlog, so I'm gonna be in Europe in October. This is like the first time I ever have a trip that's that far in advance, that's set in stone. And it's for a good cause. It's because Bogdan's getting married. In Barcelona, Stoked. in a castle, it's gonna be awesome. So it's gonna be a lot congrats of fun. on the engagement. It's gonna be a mini ramp there. It's gonna be sick. <laughs> Living in a city like New York, there are endless opportunities and people to connect with, and I always try to take full advantage of that. Alright, so I just met a fellow YouTuber who also works here at F Jerry. Brett so Conti, dude, this is a dream, man. <laughs> Get Good out to meet of here. you, man. Finally. I oh posted on Instastory that I was here, and like 10 people said, You have to meet Crispy Shorts. So this is Crispy you Shorts. Didn't even know. You don't follow me on Instagram, do you? No, I will. Dude. So, so tell the Dude. people who also don't know who you are, but now will. So what is your channel so about? So Crispy Shorts with a K. Uh, I started off uh, on Instagram like three, four years ago and got like a quick following really quickly. And then uh, basically like just hit the algorithm or something. I got 300 followers really quick. I quit 300,000 followers. I quit my job in finance and started this agency with ah. Gary um, like two years ago. Wow. And uh, yeah, now we just do like social videos for big, like the biggest brands in the world, like Burger King. Um, start a YouTube vlog, subscribe, self plugging right here. It'll be down below. Yeah, and uh, did a vlog every day for a year, kind of like challenge myself. Um, I got like I'm really good at editing, and it just helped help me build this place into mm -hmm. like doing the videos we kind of want to do for our brand and partners. Um, but yeah, dude, big fan of you though. <laughs> Get out of here. I can't believe he's in our office. It's Get crazy. out of here. But yeah, go check him out. He does really funny videos. Can I cue one of your uh, Instagram clips right yeah, now? He's gonna cue it up right here. Now. Is that crispy? Awesome meeting with those guys. Wait, hold up. Dude, 
Nice, nice to meet you guys. Nice Thanks for stopping me. That's, good. That's so awesome. That's cool. New York City, biggest city in the world, but it's still so small at the same time. Yeah. It's the energy. It's the energy. <laughs> yes. So you have a YouTube channel too? Oh, yeah, it's on yeah, Vlog Rat. Vlog Rat. All yeah. right, I'll leave it down below. <laughs> cool. What an awesome day. So I had that $50 cup of coffee, which was a great experience. You know, I don't drink too often or go out, so I never really spend money on that, which a lot of people my age do. And for me to go out there and spend 50 bucks on a cup of coffee and make a video about it and have fun, totally worth it. And it was just a great cup of coffee as well. And then Glad got to go to Jerry and set up some meetings and hopefully gonna be working with them in the very near future, do some branded content and some other exciting stuff. And speaking of exciting stuff, I leave tomorrow for Los Angeles and I'm going to be doing vlogs and also going to be doing a sponsored video, like a dope little three, four minute short film, which I'm very excited about because I just found this out today that the deal is going through. So more details to follow on that, probably the next video. And until then, remember to get out and get busy and drink $50 cups of coffee. All right, bye guys.